Welcome to Bridging Technologies. This is Venkat. In this part, we will look at the common operators in C Sharp. Just like any other programming language, even C Sharp has some common operators. Okay, and we can actually classify these operators into assignment, arithmetic, comparison, conditional, ternary, and null coalescing operators. So, assignment operators in and C sharp is equal to and similarly we have several arithmetic operators like plus minus etc let's look at a simple examples on how to use these operators so we have a simple program here for example if I create a variable of type integer uh, you know int i and if I want to initialize this to a value of 10 I can use the assignment operator equals so just like C or C++ you use equal to to assign a value to a variable of any type it could be integer boolean whatever for example if it's boolean I will say boolean b equal to true or false whatever is the value that you want to initialize that variable to so that's about the assignment operator single equals is the assignment operator in C sharp um, Whereas we have several arithmetic operators like plus, minus, into, and as the name suggests, they do the respective operation. For example, if you want to add two numbers, you use the plus sign, and similarly to sub for subtraction, you can use minus, etc. So there are these two operators. You know, if if you have two numbers to divide, and uh, you know when you divide two numbers, you get two results. One is the quotient, and the other one is the remainder. Okay, so if I divide number 10 by 2, I get the quotient as 5 and the remainder as 0. Okay, so depending on which operator you use, either forward slash, if you use forward slash, you get the quotient, which is 5 in our example. If you use percentage, you get the remainder, which is 0 in our case. So let's do a quick demo on that. So for example, if I have end numerator, and let's set that to let's say 10 and we want to you know a denominator and let's set that to maybe 2 denominator to int result equals numerator and look at this I am using the forward slash numerator by denominator and forward slash will give us the quotient and not the reminder. So if I print this result out, console.write line, and let's use the placeholder syntax to print that. So result. We want to just say result equals result. Okay, so now if we go ahead and run this, we know if we divide 10 by 2, we get the quotient as 5. So if you want quotient, use the forward slash. On the other hand, if you want reminder, use percentage. So this will give us the reminder. So 10 divided by 2 is 0, so we get the reminder. So simple arithmetic operators, just like any other programming language, plus, minus, into, forward slash, for quotient, modular so percentage for the reminder and comparison operators you know we have already seen single equal to is the assignment operator but whereas if you want to compare two numbers then you have to use double equals for example let's say um, I have you know maybe we are initializing we'll call this as number instead of numerator just to give it a meaningful name so in number is equal to 10 now if I have to compare or if you have to check in my program if the number is 10 I can't say if number equal to 10 you can't do that because a single equals in C sharp have a meaning it's basically used for the assignment operation and not for comparison if you want to really compare then you have to use double equals okay so if you are using double equals you are you are you know using that operator for comparison okay I am checking here is the value of number 10 okay on the other hand if you want to check for not 
equal then you use an exclamation if number not equal to 10 okay and this expression obviously returns a true or false and the number is 10 in this case it will actually return false because number is equal to 10 so if you want to check for not equal to we use this one if you want to check for equal to we use double equal similarly we have greater than greater than equal to less than and less than or equal to again this is very much similar to any other programming language like c or c plus plus or java and the other most important operators that we have in c sharp are the conditional operators the and and or okay so basically if i have to you know check two conditions then i can use the and operator if one of the conditions is satisfied if that's enough then i can use the or, or operator let's look at an example for this let's say i have number i and i have another number maybe that's let's say set to 20 okay now if i want the number to be 10 and another number to be 20 and only then will i have to do something then i can say if number is equal to 10 and another number is equal to 20 so in this case both the conditions should be satisfied otherwise you know whatever code that you have here will not be executed console.write line okay so hello now since number is 10 and another number is 20 this hello will, hello will be printed but otherwise it won't even if one of the numbers if we set let's say for example another number to 21 so obviously another number is not equal to 20 so this condition is not, not satisfied so it will not print this one so if we go ahead and run this it doesn't print hello there because this condition is not satisfied but on the other hand if you use the or operator the or operator is the pipe symbol so if I use or operator if any of these conditions are satisfied then this piece of code will be executed okay so in this case number is equal to 10 is satisfied that's true so it doesn't even the compiler doesn't even the runtime environment doesn't even bother to check this condition because this is already true and if one of the conditions is satisfied you know it can execute this code so if we go ahead and run this now so the hello word is printed okay so conditional and and conditional or if it is conditional and all the conditions should be satisfied to enter that block of code otherwise if it's or one of the conditions you know if one of the conditions is satisfied then it's more than enough all right the next operator that we talk about is the ternary operator which is you know kind of actually very interesting operator so let's take a simple example to understand ternary operator let's say I have this variable called number which is equal to 10 now what I want to do is I want another variable maybe boolean variable is number um, equal to 10 or let's say simply is number 10 I have a boolean variable here now if that if number is equal to 10 then I want to set this variable is number 10 equal to true else I want to set that variable to false because it's not equal to 10 so if you look at here, you know, we are using the comparison operator, we are using the assignment operator. And finally, what I want to do is console.write line number is equal to 10 is whatever, true or false. And who will let us know that? The variable is number 10. Okay, 
So if you, if you look at this program, it's a very simple program. Int, we have declared an integer variable of type um, with a value of 10, and we are checking if that number is 10, we are assigning this Boolean variable to true, otherwise false. And then we are saying number is equal to 10 is into this placeholder, we will substitute this one if it's true, true, otherwise false. So now here, number is 10. So if we go ahead and run, okay, number is equal to 10 is true. But on the other hand, if we change the value maybe to 15, number is not equal to 10, so number equal to 10 is false. Now look at this, just to check if this number is 10 or not and initialize this variable with true or false, we are having so many lines of code. But if you actually use a ternary operator, all this can be done in just one line. So if you look at this, one, two, three, four, five lines of code can actually be replaced by one line if you know how to use ternary operator. So let's see how to use this ternary operator. So bool is number equal to if number is equal to 10 then return true else return false it's actually as simple as that now you can get rid of all these lines so if you look at this it's a three line program right now okay so what we are doing is basically we are declaring a variable of type is number 10 of type boolean you know and this variable value should be equal to if this expression is true then return true if this expression is not true then return false okay whatever follows question mark is the true part and whatever follows the colon part is the false part and that value will be stored here now if i go ahead and run the output of the program will be exactly similar except that we are using the ternary operator here so that's the ternary operator uh, null coalescing operator we will talk about this in a later session when we actually talk about nullable data types in c sharp okay so we need to understand nullable data types and then we will talk about null coalescing operator and we have seen this example in a demo, you know, without ternary operator, we have to have so many lines of code, but with ternary operator, the program size is relatively much smaller, you know. That's it for today. If you um, want more resources, you can visit Prajim Tech at prajimtech.com and for ASP.NET C Sharp and video tutorials, you can visit these respective resources. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.